Oh, good. There you are. You people again. You shouldn't be loitering around here. Don't force me to arrest you. Think we've established you couldn't even if you wanted to. What? Law, quit it. We're not here to argue with you, Captain. We've got something to deliver to you. Here. Uh, that's... That bracelet. Is that my brother's? Why are you giving this to me? I can't help but wonder what my brother is planning with all this. I'm not sure. That said, I think he was being sincere about everything he told us back there. I've met a lot of good people fighting to liberate Dana. And I got the same feeling from Egal that I did from all of them. I think we can trust him. I think you're a good person too. Otherwise, you would report on us and the Gold Dust Cats, right? What makes you think I won't? Because Migal trusts you. And that's enough for me to trust you, too. You're a pretty unusual guy, Alfin. Do you go around acting like that everywhere you liberate people? What do you mean? Sorry, forget it. It's nothing. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll find out more about what Migal's planning soon enough. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. I guess so. Hmm. I guess we just wait for things to kick off. Yeah, looks like we'll be staying at the inn another night. Hold on. She's got something tied to her collar. Oh, she left. It happens tomorrow. They want us to meet in that underground quarry. Then we should prepare while we still can. We'll spend the night here at the inn again. Well, this is it. Yeah. What angle is the Lord gonna take? That depends on Migal. Let's hurry to the quarry. Woo! I think Hoodle senses something.
Next petition! Step forward! My lord, please hear my humble request. Who goes there? Halt! Is that Magal? The traitor? Guards! Don't let them get any closer! His Excellency's life is in grave danger! Kill them all at once! Wait. Stay back, Your Excellency. It's too dangerous. Enough. He cannot harm me. Nor, I think, does he intend to do so. Isn't that right, Miguel? Indeed it is, Lord Dohalim. I have heard many a rumor about you, but I suppose we'll have more time for those later. You have made some rather interesting friends. He has something he wishes to show you. We are here to make sure he does. And what could that be? Please, my lord, you needn't give these miscreants the time of day. I shall personally... Silence, Kelzalik. I wish to speak with them. Please, you were saying. It's what's in there, my lord. Have you ever walked all the way through the quarry, my liege? Right to the other side? Now that you mention it, I don't believe I have. It's a den and medical facility of some kind, is it not? I think you need to see for yourself, my lord. All I ask is that you witness this before you pass judgment upon me. Then witness it I shall. Kisara, this man is your brother, correct? I would like to ask that you personally escort me while in there. I should warn you. What lies ahead is fraught with danger. You should all take care and stay on your guard as we proceed. Danger? What could be so dangerous about it? It's a regular workplace, isn't it? You'll see. Please, I ask only that you trust me. Sounds like you all need to rethink your medical facilities around here. Hospitals are supposed to be safe. Quite. Kisara, let's see what they have to show us, shall we? As you wish, my lord. Your strength is appreciated. With you, we can all breathe a little easier. I didn't realize you held my strength in such high regard. I meant what I said before. Anyone who tries to fight you will have a hard time of it. How long have you been wielding that enormous shield? Ever since my first job as a guardsman. Our duty was to stop any attack dead in its tracks, then take all that momentum and turn it right around to smash the attacker. But why bother blocking in the first place? Wouldn't it be better to just dodge the attack and hit back immediately? Try doing that when you've got someone standing behind you that you need to protect. This shield is a symbol of our conviction as guardsmen. Every time we successfully block an attack, our fighting spirit only grows stronger. So what you're saying is that, unlike Law, you can actually take a hit. I'm right here! This area right here is where the real Heart of Darkness used to lie in Menencia. It wasn't unusual for the holes we dug in this earth to become our graves, and for the stones we mined to serve as our tombstones. That's right. I can remember it so clearly. I remember how the adults used to describe this place. Like it was setting foot in the gaping maw of a monster. But anyway, that's all history now. It is. All the bloodstains on the rocks. The still air, the constant stench of death. We're very lucky that it's all in the distant past. 
The smell of sweat and debris still hangs in the air. But at least now the Danans of Menencia can live with joy in their hearts. And it's you that we have to thank for this, Lord Dohalim. We would never have come so far if it wasn't for you. Hmm. Magal, why bring all of this up now? What exactly is the point? I just wanted to remind us. I think it's important that we remember how precious the rights we enjoy under his lordship's grace truly are. But I still don't get why... You'll understand soon enough. For now, I simply want you to keep what I've said in mind as we continue our journey. It's teeming with Zoogles. Are they kept here as some kind of deterrent? Not that I know of. This is where the spirit vessel is housed, so it's no place for beasts. What's going on? Where are all the laborers? <sighs> You're the only one who doesn't seem in the least bit surprised. Perhaps you'd care to enlighten us? All in due course, my lord. But first, just a little bit further. Once we reach our destination, everything will become clear soon enough. Fine. As you wish. I noticed your shield just appears out of nowhere whenever you need to use it. Just like Shion and her gun. Does it use the same Renin transferal technology too? Don't you need astral energy in order to use that? You do. Obviously, I can't cast arts myself, but I'm equipped with a device that has the necessary energy charged into it. 
As long as I'm using the device, I can call forth my shield whenever I like. Equipment charged with astral energy isn't all that rare. So basically, there's nothing special about Renin technology that prevents Danins from using it? No. But as you might expect, normally they'd never be given any of it in the first place. It's not as if just anybody gets to have it here. You need to earn Lord Dohalim's trust before you're allowed access to it. What makes you so sure he's not bribing you? Rinwell. I'm just being honest. It's not normal. I can understand why you'd be skeptical. However, Elda Menencia truly has transformed and evolved from the sort of realm it once was. Yes, she's right. And that's exactly why I... Miguel? Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll explain more once we arrive at our destination. find weapon material when I see it. I didn't know you could use arts like that. Yeah, but still, what's with that smoke?
barely a blip on our radar. Work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. How long have they been mining this place out? Since before I was born. Or so they tell me. Probably for decades. That long? I'm impressed the place has never caved in during all that time. I'm the best I can be. Still striving to be on par with the Lord? You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your every day. Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. Oh, this looks nice and tough. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. I've 
been doing really great lately. Everyone still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back. This is a lot more complicated than I expected. Is this the right way? Yeah. You'll find some metal scaffolding nearby. Once we go through there, we can make our way to the inner depths.
Well then, let's keep moving. Are you on alert for your brother? You needn't worry so much. He's not the type of man to act rashly. Right. Onward and upward. Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Certainly not bad. No complaints here. Looks like we've arrived. This is the way to the medical facility, right? You'll see. Let's keep going.
So there really is an underground lake here. Tell me, where is the medical facility? It's not here. In fact, it never even existed in the first place. <sighs> but I've seen people carried in here with my own eyes. Where could they have all gone? The answer is right in front of you. You need but open your eyes. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that they all drowned in this lake? No. They are just what you see before you. What's left when matter ceases to be matter. Perhaps the scale is throwing you off. Let me show you what I'm getting at. What? No way. It... It can't be. So then... This entire lake is... Yes. All this is the hollowing. I still don't follow, Nagal. What happened to your hand? And what is this hollowing you speak of? This is what I wanted to show you, my lord. When a life form's drained of its astral energy, its physical form breaks down completely, a death leaving no physical remains. All that's left is a reflective substance, the only proof that matter once existed at all. That hollowing is the substance that fills this lake. This whole lake? How many people? How many Danans? <laughs> you actually expect me to believe all that? That an astral art illiterate Danon would know of this unseen atrocity? And that I, a Renan Lord, would have no knowledge? I have one last piece of evidence, Lord Dohalim. This is a fruit of Helgen. The cause of all of this. of your knowledge, proof of the countless Dan and deaths under your watch. No, they were not merely deaths. Those Danans were completely erased. And now, the only testament is that lake of hollowing. <laughs> Nicole! Someone close to you is behind all of this. This person is amassing huge amounts of astral energy. You have to stop them. You're the only one who can prevent Menencia from returning to the living hell that it was once before. I beg you, for the future of the utopia you have created, please stop them. Don't let your dream die just as it's become a reality. Uh, wait a minute, I... I don't know if I... Nicole! 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 Forgive me, Kisara. I'm sorry. It was the only way I could open his eyes. I didn't have much time left anyway. Please help our Lord Dohalim to make our greatest dream a reality.
Nicole! Nicole! Stop moving! Get it down! Please forgive me! Eat dirt! One more! This one's mine! Where are you going? Now you see what I can do! Now! I'll stop your movement! And I'll stop your life! Let's <laughs> go. 
Are you all right? What was that just now? I understand this is a lot for you to take in, but Miguel trusted you. Impossible. I have no such power. <laughs> Truth be told, I never wanted this. I never wanted to be a lord. However, competing for a position in the crown contest was required of me, and in the process, I took the life of a dear friend. The life I took and the bloodshed, the hatred that it earned me. It was far more than I could ever bear. But the screams and tears of the slaves, they would reawaken my memories of that day. The memories of my friend's scream and the tears of the one who mourned him. I couldn't take it any longer. I didn't want to remember. So that's it? That's the real reason you freed the Danans? Just so you wouldn't have to listen to their screams? Wait. So everything you've done... Precisely. It was simply to distance myself from all the pain and death. All for my own selfish ends. And if it made everyone happy in the process, well, then that was just an added benefit. Or perhaps I... I truly did believe in those ideals at one point. But living up to them was never my aim. Impossible. Your dream of coexistence? The ideals that you always championed? So you're saying that everything you stood for? You're saying it was all just a self-obsessed lie? Tell me it isn't true, Lord Dohalim. Because... Because my brother... My brother believed in you in your dream! Forgive me. So this... This is who you really are? Stop! Let go! Let me go! Let me go! It's enough, Kisara! Stop! I'll tear him apart! I swear I'll... I'll... Are you trying to ignore your brother's dying wish? He entrusted you with his dream! <laughs> Just kill me. I'm nothing. 
I am but a shell of a man now. I'm just a pitiful coward who shrank from his duties. I would only ask that you make it quick. This man... This is the person my brother died for. And for what? For what? I need you to get out of my sight right now. Go before I change my mind. Are you feeling any better? Yeah, a little. Thanks. What are we gonna do now? I still have unfinished business with Dohalim. He's a world away from the Lord Balsef was. There's no need for us to fight him, Xion. In case you've forgotten, I Guys, don't... guys! I think something's going on outside. There you are! What's happening? Kelzalik has started an insurrection. He's driving all of the Danans out of the palace! What? Has he lost his mind? What about Lord Dohalim? We don't know where he is, Captain. We thought... We thought maybe you would. No, I don't. I haven't seen him since we were inside the quarry. Damn. Well, either way, I wouldn't go near the palace. Any suspected Renan sympathizers are being arrested on sight. This whole thing is a powder keg about to explode. Best prepare for the worst. I guess not all of the Renans here like the idea of coexisting with the Danans after all. So this is it. This is the real Menencia. Are you giving up? On what? This realm is already finished. It perished along with my brother's dream. That's a shame. And I guess all the people who believed in that dream are on their own out there, aren't they? Not all of the Renan sided with Kelzalik. There's still hope, Kisara. Your brother's dream is only dead when there's nobody left who believes in it. Am I wrong? You're right. I'm going to the palace. I need to see what's happening there with my own eyes. Uh, what are you all doing? I thought it was pretty clear. We're coming with you. I appreciate the thought, really. But there's no need for you all to get involved in this. Tohalim said it himself, right? All of us, we're liberators. Thank you. Will things be okay in the city? I'm concerned about that as well. But for now, let us get to the palace.